Find out what's hot and what's not. We watch your programme every week. I'm Samantha Mann and this is Clever Vision and we're ready to strap ourselves into our dancing trousers and head off in search for the nation's finest night spot. We check out Mono at Media, Nottingham's newest club. Chat to Brian Tranzo, a.k.a. BT, get the lowdown on DJ Magazine's dance chart and pay a visit to Dolly Mixers at the Escape Club in Brighton. Hi, I'm Frankie Knuckles and this is Clever Vision and I'm at Renaissance. Nottingham sits in the middle of the UK and has also been at the centre of the UK's club scene for many years. In August, the city celebrated the arrival of Media. Located in a 1920s Grade 2 listed cinema, the club has turned the city on its head and provided local club promoters renaissance with a home once again. Tonight, it's their Friday night called Mono and they've invited Frankie Knuckles to grace the Media decks. VIP suite here at Media in Nottingham with David Elphick who's the manager and Jeff Oakes who is the head honcho of Renaissance. Jeff you've been looking for a venue for three years and eventually you found it. How does it feel? Um, it feels great at last um, after waiting so long and wondering if it had ever ever happened. Uh, finally here we are. What was it like when the doors first opened? Oh, it, was, it was an amazing night. I think yeah. uh, Jeff described it well. He said it was one of those, one of those great clubbing moments. It was, it was awesome. The club's part of the Big Beat chain. For anyone at home that doesn't know about the Big Beat chain, can you explain for us what it is? The club that most people will know about is, is the tunnel in Glasgow, and that was the base where they started everything from, really. And uh, Graham McCulloch designed the pod in Dublin and, and the Canal Club, which a lot of people probably know. So the, the pedigree is, is unbelievable. Well, this building is absolutely beautiful. It was a cinema and now it's converted into a club. How much work went into making it into a club? I mean, the building works has taken in excess of a year now. It's, um, it's a very big task because this is what's called a Grade 2 listed building. Um, and it has a star, yes. The next step up from, from what we have here is, is Nelson's Column. So it's, right. you cannot touch a lot of the interior. So obviously you'll see as you go around the club that we've, we've kept most of the sort of ornate and decorative interiors. And, and Ron's design has worked the modern theming in with, with those uh, original designs. And, People who come into this place are absolutely blown away with it. The club's open three nights a week here. How do the nights differ? I mean, Thursday nights are mainly sort of a, a local youth night, so it's 18 to 23, 24, sort of um, house, a bit of garage, so a lot more sort of up to date and commercial. And uh, Friday nights, a what would you call it, Jeff? Uh, thought behind Friday was that obviously on a Saturday we've got Renaissance and there's a, a defined music policy for Renaissance and people recognise uh, uh, that sort of harder underground British European sound as, as a Renaissance sound. Um, it steers well clear of what people call trance. Uh, we certainly don't fall into that category on a Saturday. Uh, but we, we felt that the Friday, because of the quality of the venue and the sound system, we wanted another really credible musical night on the Friday. Uh, so we bring it in sort of guests from all over the world, and particularly America. Uh, as you know, we've got Frankie Knuckles here tonight. Uh, Eric Murillo is coming, Deep Dish are coming to play. So the, the sound system has just been designed by Steve Dash from Twilo in New York. He designed the, the sound system in the sound factory as well. And uh, it, they're just regarded as the best sound systems in the world. I mean, it's a very it's a very simple philosophy. I mean, my view is I want people to come for a night out here, enjoy five and six hours of, of, of an amazing venue, amazing music, amazing sound system, and leave this building with a smile on the face and think, that was a good night. That's what it's all about. It's not about super clubs and, and, and full page write ups and whatever. It's about the people in this venue, the people who pay the money, and they're the people we look after.
I'm here with Shaboom. Introduce yourself, lads. Hi, I'm Ben Davis. And I'm Mark Bell. How did you guys first get into house music? Uh, it was, uh, it's an old story. It's been well worn. It's going to the house the end of one night, and uh, someone pops up in my drink, and that was it, really. Never looked back. <laughs> what are your fondest memories of the house the end of Love and harmony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something for your mind, your body, and your soul. Definitely. <laughs> Seeing. Uh, I don't know, there's too many to mention, you know, uh, Graham Park and Mark Pickering, it was, it was their club and just being on the stage and being in the middle of it all, it was, you know... First M people gig as well. First M people oh, gig, because Mark, Mark was in it, that's why he oh, said it. No, it, it, was like, it was like the Beatles, it was total hysteria, it was unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Those days will never come again, apart from here at Renaissance every Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and you're into production, you're into recording, your DJs. Yeah, we've got our fingers in a lot of pies. Uh, yeah, we, we've got a studio thing going. Uh, we're an act sound to Warner Brothers, uh, and we're also a record label, and we're also me and my partner, Dick Johnson, who's playing downstairs uh, DJs as well. What, what can we expect on Mechafunk, your new album? Uh, it's, uh, basically, it takes a, a lot of the influences that we, we've grown up with, uh, and kind of uh, like disco, soul, house music and, and mel melds them all together and uh, you know there's a lot of different tracks on there deeper tracks and a lot of good vocal tracks with Takaboom who's uh, our singer your new singles coming out soon tell us about that it's called totally it's like uh, it's a big vocal um, with uh, Paul Johnson singing the lead uh, vocal um, yeah I mean it's, it's like a real, we're really really proud of it it's, it's a fantastic song and it's uh, all everything's been played live on it we, we first of all we, we programmed all the stuff in and then we like remade it uh, using completely live instruments and it just sounds like an old south soul disco classic you know, made for the 90s you actually work with uh, label paper recordings what's going on there at the moment yeah we just keep banging out tracks and we've got a, an album coming out from the problem kids which is rocky and mark wilkinson uh, yeah, and just you know, keep doing it in Manchester, really, and uh, trying to keep house music good before it descends into trance hell. Yeah. House music actually got a bit cheesy at one point, and you've managed to sort of um, revive it along with the US guys. Do you think house music is a lot deeper than a lot of people think? It, it, it keeps going forward constantly. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a very valid form of music, and you listen to. Uh, any radio or television or adverts and you know it's all dance music it's rock's dead I mean it's without a doubt and now it's like rock is borrowing off dance music rather than vice versa you're resident in the blue room here what can people expect when they walk in uh, it's just a little bit of a different vibe to the main room we play a lot of funk a lot of disco mainly house uh, just try and get something different we look at who's playing and uh, you know try and get a different vibe going and, you know it's, it's quite a small room so we can get something pretty intimate and you know just have a, have a bit of a party it's, it's a party room really do you think media's the best club though here in Nottingham now? I've only been here twice, I don't know yet. I've got to weigh it up. <laughs> Did it take that long to walk around this place? It's alright. I love working here, it's excellent, brilliant night. Excellent, love it. <laughs> Just being drinking and dancing and chatting to some blokes, and that's about it. If we get older, we'll come here every week. What do you think of this club then? I think it's fantastic. We've been here before. Very, very good for Nottingham. I think they should do an R&B night here. Do you think you would travel to somewhere like this, though, if you live quite a way away? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, well, we live in Sheffield, so we go to Republic and the Lead Mill. We've come out tonight, me and my boyfriend. Where else do you go in Nottingham? I go to the bomb. Bad, the bomb. Very good. Leicester, we normally go to Flaming Colossus. Or a function that happens called Bubble Love. But this place is the lick. What's the atmosphere like tonight? Great. Yeah. It's great, yeah. I'm enjoying it actually. I haven't got a clue who most of these people are, I'm afraid. I've been to like the ministry and turn mills and just around mouths. What's the layout like in this club then? Really bizarre. Lots of mazes and lots of little snaky bits to hide in, so it's cool. So can I ask you what you think of the opposite sex here? Not bad, not bad. A lot to offer. Too many men, but not enough time. The men are excellent. <laughs> but I didn't really say that because I've got a boyfriend. Well, occasionally you go for the DJ, but to be honest, I just go out for a laugh with my friends. Frankie Buckles is the man. Paul Oakenfold and Cole Cox. If they're playing here, we'll be here. 
Big shout out to Timmy Magic, uh, Dream Team, all the London crew. Hey everyone. Bye. I'm joined by the legendary Frankie Knuckles, all the way from New York. <laughs> How you doing, Frankie? I'm okay. <laughs> Do you hate being called legendary? Well, I can't say I hate it, but it's a little on the embarrassing side. Yeah. Your track Tears was such a big dance anthem. Did you ever expect it would become so big when you were making it? Not at all. I don't think. Um, I don't think in those terms when it comes to the music that I uh, make or the music I produce or write. Um, I just try to make the most beautiful music I can, I can possibly believe in and then if other people like it too then great. What about when you're not DJing, do you actually go out and visit clips yourself? I try to at least once, you know, um, if I'm ever home long enough I try to uh, get out and see what the other half is doing or when I'm out on the road like um, just being in Ibiza and everything with everyone that was there. I had to make the rounds because it's not often that all of my compadres are all in the same spot, you know, so I have to make the rounds. A lot of people would say that dance culture originated in New York, which is where you're from. There's not that much happening there at the moment. Why is that? When things are running so well and running so long and so hot for such a long time, eventually they have to come to a complete standstill in order to start all over again. So I think that's pretty much where things are at. New York is kind of sort of standing still at the moment, waiting for it to get its energy back up. Not necessarily looking for the next big thing, but just to get its energy back up. I mean, trance is very big over here in the UK and in the US. So I've noticed. So no, I've noticed. Not, not well, I mean, you know, I'm not one to follow someone else, but um, I think my audience, more than anything, expects me to be true to what I do. You know, I think if they come to me and they hear me playing something that's a little, what they like to call out of character, they tend to have a problem with it. So. Do you enjoy bringing the U.S. over to the U.K.? I'm the kind of DJ that like to play really close to the crowd. I prefer having my DJ booth really close to the dance floor or right up on top of the people uh, because I like to feel like I'm a part of what's going on as opposed to being what's in control of what's going on. And with that, um, I get a chance for people to get close enough to me to ask me, well, you know, what's happening on the house scene in New York or what's the new stuff? And they all sort of tell me how much they like all the the new American house music and they don't hear enough of it here because there aren't enough British DJs that play it so um, yeah I enjoy bringing it to them. A lot of DJs actually claim they were around before house music evolved. You were actually around before disco music. How did that come about? I guess it was when I got started. <laughs> <laughs> um, I started playing when I was 17 and um, there was no such thing. I mean, there were lots of discotheques, but there was no such thing as disco music or anything like that. So I watched it kind of come and go. And you're still here. And I'm still here. Regretting nothing but the pain. My heart, my life, my world is still with rain. I'm drowning. Hey, this is BT. You're watching Club of Vision. Check it out. Like, tag, share, and subscribe. Now, this is Cover Vision, and this is how it's done. This is Cover Vision, Cover Vision number one. Where's that f***ing rave, man? <laughs>